Brody, where do you start with that one? Crazy. It was a crazy game. Uh, you know, the character that everyone showed towards the end, uh, amazing. Uh, the team spirit, everything. Yeah, massive. We'll get onto that in a little bit more detail, but uh, watching the first half, perhaps when you come on in the second half, let's start at the beginning with Leaf striking and then uh, going behind. What did you make of the first half? Yeah, obviously it was tough. Uh, we tried to press and they were getting quite, they were getting out quite often. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, Leaf strike was amazing, great strike, and to go two one into half time, you know, obviously the subs are thinking, oh, we need to uh, create chances or whatever. Um, but yeah, thankfully we won three two, and yeah, happy with the result. What was the message when you guys came on? Uh, not nothing really, mm -hmm. uh, just to press them really, uh, try and make it uncomfortable for them. Um, but. It was more set pieces that we got instructed to, um, but you know when you come on, you try and make a difference. Great finish for your for your goal, but a fantastic team move, wasn't it? What did you make of uh, Tails' ball in? Oh yeah, it was perfect, weighted. Um, I just thought just a little snapshot, um, but I can't really remember the build up towards it to be honest. Um, but yeah, all I knew was uh, Tails weighted it perfect into the box, and uh, yeah, I put it up far corner. Did you feel like when you got the equaliser, you had the momentum to go on and win the game? Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, the fans helped mm. um, massive. So, yeah, hopefully you can do that um, a lot more times. We were just talking about the, the big moments with the manager there, saying Leafs won when he, when he uh, sees James Bree red carded. You know, it's a fantastic touch, isn't it? And there were big moments in the game. Yeah, massive. Yeah. Um, obviously, that was a great touch by Leaf again. Um, but, yeah, you could just tell the crowd was on our side and uh, yeah, thankfully we got the last minute. How did you kind of feel with the last 10 or 15 minutes? What were your, <laughs> what were your thoughts? Um, I'm not too sure to be fair because they were getting in quite often. Yeah. Um, obviously they were doing long throw-ins and you know, trying to trying to smash into the box really um, and pinned us back. Um, but yeah, obviously we kept a clean sheet when I came on. Um, but yeah, amazing. It did appear like when they went down to 10, they were still pushing. Was, was that a surprise to you? Very, yeah, I thought they would just sit, sit back, really. Yeah. Um, but obviously the manager, he wants to play uh, their manager. Um, but yeah, that's why they're up there with us, so. Where were you at the end? Yeah, I was in, I was in the crowd, I think. Um, yeah, just giving everyone a hug, really. I was just, I was buzzing, yeah. What a moment for, for Jeremy, the whole group, of course, but, you know, scoring that goal. What does that say about the culture, you know, as a lone player, but everyone has bought into this, haven't they? Oh, for sure. You know, the manager says, be ready when you're on your bench because everyone runs their heart out, out there for 60, 70, 80 minutes, um, especially the front lads. Um, obviously, the manager wants us to press and from the front, so, you know, we, have, we try our hardest to, to create goals and close people down and, you know, yeah, sometimes it's hard um, to go week in, week out, but everyone's, everyone's up for it. Did it feel like a special atmosphere today? Yeah, massive. Yeah, it was uh, one, of the, one of the best I've had. Sets you up well for uh, a big game next weekend, of course. You know about it from, from the game at home, and uh, now you've just got work towards that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we need to concentrate on the next game. Obviously, enjoy today, and uh, yeah, on to Saturday. Well played, Brody. Thank you.